hold it actually because I don't think it's going to do right. Hi, you guys. Oh, my God. So, you guys know that um, I did the video earlier and right now this is insane. I know I am looking a hot mess. I know I am because guess what? I have been messing with my hair. I've been doing everything because I just broadcasted to you guys. But I have to share this with you. Um, if you notice, this broadcast is entitled When You Least Expect It. The reason is why at, I gotta look at my little note, 6.50. I don't know what time zone you are in right now. Okay, I'm in central time zone. So this was just a few minutes ago. Why did I get a call on Skype for my audition? Yeah. <laughs> three hours later, I get a call from my Skype audition that was supposed to be three hours ago. Um, I have got to share this with you guys. I wasn't going to. I was sitting here and, and trying to debate um, Daddy in Trouble. Hi, Daddy in Trouble. Hi. I don't know what time zone you're in. So, um... Hi, I hope it's um, after five, your time. But um, I was auditioning for an industrial, okay? Um, I posted last week, please, if you're not following me, please start following me. I posted last week that I had this industrial audition. Look at my hair. This is something else I'm gonna tell you guys about. I've been messing with my hair since the last time I periscope because I'm on chill status, I'm off. Chico, oh my God. Okay, you guys, that's my brother. So please give a shout out to my brother. Okay, so what does that mean? So I'm going to tell you, industrial means um, wherever you work, have you seen like the training videos or the safety videos or uh, the videos when you first come on board? Those are called industrials. Industrials, now you understand, yes, okay, yeah. So those videos um, are just specifically for your organization. So, I did an audition, or I was supposed to do an audition, three, three hours ago for an industrial, and they never called me on Skype. So, I was getting ready to go and take a bath. That's why my hair is looking like a mess, because I was messing with my hair, and I'm sitting here talking, and as people do that are like me, that um, are very vocal and very... Um, what is the word? Um, expressive. So we mess with our hair as we talk and all this. So in any case, I was doing all of that outgoing. Oh, thank you. I'm going to say outgoing. Yes, I love that. Thank you, uh, Daddy in Trouble. So I'm sitting here. I'm going to say, and uh, Mr. Uh, John Harlson, I'm not going to repeat that. You guys, that's my brother who's just new to Periscope. So please shout out to my brother, Chico. But um, I was going to go take a bath, okay? So I had been messing with my hair. I had taken off my little shirt. So let me tell you guys. Anytime you get information about an audition, they're going to tell you, we, need, we want flesh tone or we want... Um, uh, uh, earth tones, whatever. They're going to tell you everything because if you watch my previous Periscope, I told you, I read everything verbatim. Like 30 times, I knew what I needed. So I put on this top so it would match my skin tone and it would be toned down and all this kind of stuff. Well, as you guys know, I was Periscoping with you guys like, I don't know, an hour, two hours ago, which is way past my audition time. Okay, so I had already took this off, so I got like a tank top on underneath. So, my Skype rings, and I've got my tank top on, and it's for the audition, which now is three hours later. Wasn't going to be sitting in the back. I don't, I don't know what that means, going to be sitting in the back. I don't know what that means. But in any case, um, Chico, look, this is what I need you to Just tap the screen, okay? Just tap the screen. You guys, that's my brother. Just tap the screen. Just show me some love. Because the questions you're asking right now is not pertinent to what I'm trying to tell everybody about this. Thank you. That it's not your fault. Remember when I said that in the last Periscope? It's not your fault. Three hours later, 
I'm at home chilling, and I'm going to say chilling because that's what people understand. When, when you're already off work, when you're already past your audition time or whatever, so what color is the tank you had on? Um, it's tan. It's flesh tone. It's tan, but it's, it's still, yes, it's flesh tone. Hexagr hexagram, hexagram of the heavens or hexagram heavens. I have not seen you, seen you in a while. Hi, how are you? So hexagram, thank God, hexagram heavens. Let me tell you, okay, hi. So we go back a little ways. So back when I was doing the sincere, hexagram chimed in when I was like at Starbucks and everything. So I thank you for following me. Go back and look at the other pop, none of his business. <laughs> go back and watch my other Periscope. Okay, please do because I mentioned the sincere again and that's in that one. Her. You're her. Yay! So go back and watch. Please watch my Periscope for the previous one. But shout out to Hexagram Heaven or Hexagram of the Heavens. Please go back and re-watch that one. I missed you. You give me, you know what? You give me good uh, feedback. So I missed you. So in any case, what I'm saying, you're welcome. You're welcome, hexagram. Ah! So in any case, what I'm saying is, you guys, seriously, I took, I'm an artist too, I get it. I need to know, did they hire you because you're great and not because you had a tank on? Okay, so this is the thing, daddy, because I don't know the rest of your thing. It went away real quick. This is the deal. They're probably not going to hire me, okay, because they call me three hours later. I had a tank top on. My hair is looking crazy. Okay. Uh, whatever. <laughs> I'm not getting into the spat going on. But it's three hours later. So I'm on chill time. I'm on my time. I'm on um, getting ready to take a bath time. So I have my makeup. I had lip gloss on. I was in the frame of mind to do the audition. And then they called three hours later, and I think it was because of the email that I sent, and I said, hey, I'm just checking with you guys. So remember when I said to you guys that I think maybe sometimes your emails get lost in the shuffle or whatever. I'm not saying that that's what happened. All I'm saying is three hours later, that's when I got the call all of a sudden. So uh, just be leery and mindful of that that chico i am you didn't watch the other periscope so please watch the other periscope that um sometimes it's just not your fault so please go back to the other one sometimes it's just not your fault that is the point that i'm making so three hours later is um i don't know if, if you had a job interview or if you had um a date just think about it. Three hours later, would you still be sitting there waiting? That's all I'm saying. But I was. I was still. I was still waiting in my tank top. Unfortunately, so no, I probably will not get the gig because I had my tank top on when I answered. True, hexagram. True, true. They they wanted flesh tone. Oh my God, thank you, Chico. Yes, you are so right. That that probably wasn't. Yes, I worry about everything, so I would be waiting. Right. Daddy in trouble. That is me too. I, I'm so, I, I, okay, I don't know. All I know is that you've been very respectful for me, so thank you, Hexagram. All I'm saying is three hours, <laughs> three hours is a bit much, okay? I was sitting, I waited for us for a day to show up. And you know what? Some people do. But guess what? This this was an audition. And it specifically said, your time is X, Y, Z. And we will call you. I didn't get called. So it's three hours later. I was getting ready to start cooking dinner. I, I had already started pouring my, my, my bath water. When I ended my last Periscope, I told you guys, I was getting ready to get ready for work tomorrow. Because I, I am a working actress, which means, oh, well, I'm sorry, Daddy in trouble. I'm so sorry. Sorry. But what I'm trying to say is I was getting ready for tomorrow, 
for my job that pays. So, um, oh wow. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to. Chico, please behave. Please behave. All I'm saying is I want to promote positivity for you guys. And I thought it was important for me to Periscope right now to let you guys know that please still don't get distraught. Don't, don't let something like this. I, I've, I've never experienced something like this before. So it's hard for me. And I wanted, I wanted to share that with you guys that I've never, ever had someone contact me three hours later. You, you see what I'm saying? I've never had an audition three hours past my audition time. True, I fly and I drive and I go to all these auditions. Thank you, Hexagram. And I didn't, I didn't, I, I didn't want to say that. The, yeah, I feel like if I showed up to an audition three hours late, I would not be seen. It would, thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Daddy in Trouble. You know what? Like your time is irrelevant. Right. And that's how I feel. It's like if the tables was turned, if I showed up three hours later, where would I be? Hmm. I can't do the whole bewitched thing. Do you guys remember bewitched? I can't do that. Or she did the nose. But in any case, if I showed up three hours later, I would not get hired. Because I would be irresponsible. I, 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 a whole plethora of things would come behind, right? Thank you. Yes, me too. Me too. Okay. But I, I would basically be told that I was not reliable and, and time management and all these other things. But three hours later, I'm speechless, you guys. But I had to share that with you because I, I, I didn't even know what to do, what to say, you know what I'm saying? I was told that I should probably wait till tomorrow and then periscope with you guys tomorrow, but I was like, no, this is my road to modeling and acting and it's so important that you guys understand. Yes, please give me a question. Please give me a question. But it's so important for you guys to understand. Well, this is the deal. Okay, first let me say my thought and then I'm gonna answer your question, Hexagram. It is so important for you guys to see that um, this is my road. This is the sole purpose of me broadcasting. So you can see all this stuff, or as I like to say, craziness, that I am going through on my road to modeling and acting. Thank you for the love. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Because it's real. This is the kind of stuff that truly happens. I am still in awe that I got a call three hours later. Who? <laughs> three hours later. Three hours later, and it and, and let me tell you, it wasn't even pleasant. It was like, well, we need you to hurry up with your answers, and we need to. Sorry, I had to take a minute, you guys, because it was it was very rude. It was very. So in any case, back to hexagram. Oh my God, hexagram! And you know what? Please follow me. Please keep following me because you know what? This is this is this is the journey. Um. I keep it very real that people pick up the magazines, they turn on the TVs, they, they look at this stuff and they see these people and they're just like, oh, oh my God, they're just so perfect. And these gigs, commercials, industrials, films, it just fill out the sky and they just got it. No, there is a road, at least for me, okay? I'm, I'm an older African-American female on this journey and it's rough. It's very rough. So hexagram, thank you. Thank you for being real. Thank you for following me because you like to see this journey that I'm on. Thank you for the heart. Oh my God. Persevere, baby. And I am. This is the deal. So when I started five years ago, and golly, it's, it's 2016. So now we're going into my sixth year. When I finished modeling and acting school, this this was my whole thing. That I want to be on someone's couch like freaking Ellen. Back then, I wanted to be on Oprah's couch. <laughs> that shows you almost six years ago. But I wanted to be on someone's couch and I wanted to be able to sit there and say, Hey, you know what? I know you understand Hexagram, right? I wanted to be able to sit there and tell them, 
No, we we see all these beautiful people in these magazines and we see them on TV and how did they become? How, how did they get that way? They were, they were not born that way. Yes, there are some beautiful people in the world that's just, that they did. Their mama and daddy chromosomes and all this stuff made them perfect and all that and none have talent. Ooh, hexagram said it. <laughs> I love it. Keep those comments coming. But it's hard work, you guys. It, it's, it is hard work. And that's why I do these periscopes so you can see everything. You guys, hexagram saw, and there's a few of you guys who saw when I did the freaking whole chemical face pill. Ah! That mess hurts, okay? <laughs> People don't wake up with perfect skin. I'm sorry. You don't live that way. If you're around any kind of stuff in the air and all this stuff, it's not. There, there is a price to pay. So I take you guys on all my crazy journeys of every everything that I I, I am doing. Okay, or have done. So um it's real. It is so real. People don't just appear. So hexagram, thank you. We suffer for our beauty. You are so right. These are the questions that real Americans have and the answers we need. The real story. Oh my God! You guys, read that again. This is real. The he, and I say he, I hope it's a he. If not, I'm sorry. Okay, but that is so real. People don't understand. This is the deal. I said people don't understand. I'm, I'm going to retract that. People just don't know. Because you know what? Where do you see where people are being real and they're, they're giving the, the true 100% selves of them. That's what I'm saying, selves of them. They're showing you the true journey. I mean, I, I don't know. I've never seen it. Um, I see videos that are coming out now with, with people who have already made it and they're telling you all this stuff. But I haven't seen any of people on the come up. I, I haven't seen any of that. You can't see my face. How about now? Can you see my face now? So I was told you guys can't see my face. I'm looking so rough. I, I But again, this is my journey. So yes, I'm looking rough <laughs> because it's three, almost probably four hours past my audition time. I was about to go take a bath, okay? I'm shutting it down. I'm, I'm, I'm being real. I'm about to order some Chinese because we didn't lay out any meat to cook tonight. <laughs> That's real. We didn't. So this is as real as it gets. But the point I was making is how many people do you see out there that's giving you the real nitty gritty down low that this is how it is. You know what I'm saying? That you... you that you know that you've been waiting three hours for an audition and they didn't call you and then all of a sudden, now your Skype is ringing. I'm about to go take a bath. I figured that you just, I'm not gonna say blew, blew me off, but my email confirmation got lost in the mix somewhere because you never ever want to upset a casting director or anyone that could potentially be your employer but my periscopes are my road to modeling and acting. And this is just, do you think they were testing you? Hexagram, you know what? I, I don't know. I don't, I don't have the answer to that. Um, I hope not. Because that's kind of a sick, twisted thing if they are. Your resilience. Maybe. Maybe. Because I did. Remember I told you. I, I don't know if you saw the previous periscope that I did before this one and I said I went I checked my email like 30 times to make sure that every single thing was this is a term that I use dress right dress this this is a term that I use which means everything is in line but to handle chaos etc maybe I don't know um honestly though I would say no and the reason I say no is because all of us are human and uh, another Periscope that I did is called, um, you know what? I don't know the actual title of it, but I'm going to tell you what I described in it. It's about overbooking. It's 
about overbooking. And I just really and truly feel in this instance, because it says in the email that there's going to be, they probably realize they dropped the ball. I hear that. And that's probably it. Because remember I told you guys in the other Periscope I did that I went through, I looked through that email possibly 30 times. Possibly, if not more. And then I even sent an email and, and I said in the email, hey, I'm just checking with you guys to see if I'm still scheduled for my audition today. I mean, I knew I was because I looked at it several times. I sent the email and then three hours later I get a call out the blue and then it was very rude, very short, very, well, keep your answers short. Oh, okay. Sorry, I will. I'm just trying to answer what you asked me. So in any case, that's, you know what you guys, I'm not going to say that's the industry. I'm not going to say because it's not, don't get discouraged, don't get distraught. Because every agency is not like that. It's not. Sounds like a, I'm going to say corporate interview. Right. 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 And maybe, laugh out loud, maybe it was. I, I, I don't know. But you know what? The bottom line is, even though it was three hours later, I did show resilience. <laughs> because I still answered. I still answered. And it goes back to your previous message. It's really not your fault. Remain professional at all times. Exactly. And that is exactly what I did. The only thing that I hate is because they called me three hours later. So I was already in relax mode. So I didn't have my little sweater on. I, I was in tank mode. I had already put my jewelry back on because it specifically said in the email, no jewelry. So I already, already put my earrings back on. I already put the tank back on. So in that aspect, I wasn't within their guidelines anymore, but it was three hours later. So I, I don't know if, if I'm docked for that. I mean, there's nothing I can do about it. All I can do is say, I'm sorry. Um, I did follow the instructions. <laughs> you called me three hours later. So now I'm back in um, me mode, not actress mode. So I'm sorry. But in any case, you guys, I had to share that because it was, there was so much passion on my heart and in my so will you follow up? You know what, Hexagram, that is an awesome, awesome question. And right now tonight, email. Right now tonight, um, I'm not, but maybe tomorrow. After I have a hot bath and I can relax and I can put things into perspective, I, I still might follow up. But there are so many things that's going on right now, right? There's so many things that's going on right now because um, I don't know how to feel about it. You know what I'm saying? How did you handle having to spring back into acting role? Let me tell you something. Um, it was hard because it's three hours later. Three hours later, even the best actors out there, and I can only assume that when you're... When you're scheduled for your allotted interview time, you go into that frame mode. You go into now acting of that character. You are becoming that actor, that, that, that character, not actor. You're becoming that character. So three hours later, now you're with your family. You're at home. You're relaxed. You're thinking about what you need to do for the next gig or the next um, um, thing on your agenda. You're no longer thinking about Joyce or Beatrice or or whomever that character is. So for me, um, I had already moved on. Because if you watched my last Periscope, I told you, there's a gazillion gigs out there. There is a gazillion gigs for us hungry thespians. Thespians, actors, Anybody who's trying to make it. There's so many gigs. There's so many jobs. There's so many opportunities. There's there's all of this. This is the bottom line. You, you have got to think and remember that as we are auditioning for roles and gigs or jobs, don't let it take you away from your 
value. You are important. You have a lot to give. And that should not be taken or minimized. Thank you, Hexagram. You understand what I'm saying? Don't allow that to be taken from you because of the situation you were put in, meaning auditioning three hours later when you're no longer in character mode, that you're back to reality mode of, you know, I got to cook or I got to, you know, take care of my family. I got to get ready for work tomorrow. Whatever that may be. I'm sorry, I'm just taking a minute, you guys, because it's just rise to the occasion. Well done. Well, thank you. But it's, it's just the whole realization that whatever you're striving for, don't let it succumb who you are and your values and your morals. Thank you for the hearts. It's a surreal moment right now. I'm, I'm being real. Maybe the universe knew what was better for you in that moment. Hexagram, you know what? Much love to you because you know what? I could have dodged a real bullet and it's not for me to know. It's not for me to know, but that, that could be exactly what it was because if you bring professionalism to the table, you should get that back. Period. Period. You should get it back. And I know that's what I bring to every audition, every job, regular job interview, or even in a personal relationship. I bring 100. And it's only befitting that I get that back. And that goes for you as well out there. Whomever's listening, whosoever's watching, know that you deserve the best. Sorry for pointing, because I know as, as kids we were brought up, you should never point with anyone, but I want everyone who's tuned in to know you deserve the best. You give the best, then you deserve the best. Point blank. Point blank. So, I had to get that off my chest about this whole Skype audition. That was my second one ever. Um... So, uh, based off of the first one, I don't know if I like them too much. <laughs> Maybe I still need to keep paying and go face-to-face -face and have those auditions. That was awesome. Thanks for sharing. No. Hey, Graham, you are quite welcome. This is, this is my journey to modeling and acting, and I, I am compelled that I have to share this with you guys because you know what? No one understands. I think all acting students should follow you. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Because it's a hard journey. And if you don't if you don't have tough skin, it will tear some people apart. It, it really and truly will. But you know what, Hexagram? And continue the journey. This is amazing. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm just the girl next door. And I'm just trying to show you guys the real deal. I mean it. They can learn a lot. Thank you. Thank you. You're going to make me cry, you guys. Oh, my God. You guys are going to make me cry. I'm just the girl next door, and I'm just sharing my journey with you guys of all, all the stuff that I'm experiencing. The industry is hard. It is so, it is so hard, you guys. But you got to have tough skin, and you have to know that, guess what? The next gig is right there. It's right there. So, as I end this broadcast, because I'm getting ready to go look for my next gig, <laughs> I just want to share with you guys, please be safe, be kind, and love one another. Until next time.